I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Declan Rice to Arsenal is happening, ladies and gentlemen. We got nothing to worry about. The deal is going to be agreed very soon. Everything, I'm going to break it down right now. Let's get into it. Take it away. Here we go. I am so excited to present this to you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Arsenal are closing into a record deal for Declan Rice, which is going to be around over a hundred million pounds, including add-ons. This is just one step closer to the deal getting done. The fee is agreed. Everything is going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving like a big club. If you want Declan Rice right now, let me know in the chat how excited you are about the potential signing of Declan Rice. The deal is getting closer and closer as we speak, and everything is looking beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just give you guys all the information and all the facts on the table as we speak, okay? So forget about Cedric, but of course, the same person, Jacob Steinberg, did say uh, Arsenal are looking to move on Cedric and Nicolas Pepe. He also spoke about uh, Moises Caicedo, Arsenal considering making a bid for Brighton Moises Caicedo, but who Chelsea also want to sign. They're also trying to get Manchester City's Ilkay Gundogan on a free transfer. We already know this, but this is what we didn't know, and this is what the news that broke an hour ago. Mikel Arteta is a huge admirer of Declan Rice. We already know this, and is determined to add him to the squad. Arsenal believe that Rice could help uh, them mount a title challenge next year. Rice is a fan of Mikel Arteta's football. Jacob Steinberg also uh, had this to say. Sources believe that prospective rival clubs tried to sign Declan Rice, like Bayern, Chelsea, Newcastle, and Manchester City. But of course, Declan Rice uh, have been the most aggressive in attempting to buy him. Then they go on to break the, ma the massive news, ladies and gentlemen. This is the massive news. It started off with this uh, two hours ago. Arsenal are close to agreeing a fee for uh, for with West Ham for, uh, and expected to pay over £100 million. The player is certain to uh, add-ons. If the player uh, is certain add-ons are achieved, they're confident the deal will be finalized soon. This is from the Guardian's Jacob Steinberg. He also went on to say Arsenal are ready to make Declan Rice their most expensive player in their club's history. Of course, a bid to be submitted and... But the, the talks between the clubs are progressing smoothly and Arsenal are moving quick and in efforts to assure the deal goes through without any hitches. At this moment in time, ladies and gentlemen, this is the massive news from The Guardian coming out. And I am ecstatic. Declan Rice has been our target for Arsenal Football Club since January. We have been in talks since January. There's been reports about that 92 million pound bid that everyone was talking about, 92 million pounds. That was the price that everyone was talking about, 92 million, 92 million, 92 million. That's what we kept hearing, 92 million. And that seems like what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be the 92 million plus the add-ons for Declan Rice. And I am not gonna lie to you guys, I am ecstatic. I, I think that this deal is going to happen very, very soon. It is progressing quite quickly. And the talks between Arsenal and West Ham have been done. So now there's reports that a 92 million pound bid has been submitted for Declan Rice. And this, this is with the add-ons of 10 million to make it around 102 million pound deal for Declan Rice. Now, has Fabrizio Romano said anything yet? We don't know. We have to wait and see, but it's understood it is understood that the bid is around that fee. Now, let me just show you guys some of the uh, some of the reports that are also coming out from other people. Of course, this is this is where this is some of the sources that we're seeing with the ninety two million pound bid. Uh, I'm not sure if these. Uh, this is I'll have Arsenal Informer on tomorrow. I'll have him on tomorrow to discuss this around five o'clock in more detail. Let's see what Fabrizio. Uh, we're still waiting on uh, on David Onstein to confirm, but let's see what Fabrizio Romano had to say about Declan Rice. Um, Fabrizio Romano, did he speak on the Declan Rice stuff? I don't think he did. But what Fabrizio Romano did speak on 
was something even more crazy. Arsenal now also have an opportunity not to only sign Declan Rice, but reportedly we could also pull off a deal for Kylian Mbappe. Reportedly, that Kylian Mbappe has informed PSG that he has no intentions of triggering his extension to stay until 2025, meaning that his deal would end up and expire in 2024. And L'Equipe have said that PSG are no... Uh, um, uh, PSG's position is no plans to sell, uh, to lose Kylian Mbappe on a free and that they want to sell the player. Reports also have come out from PSG that they want to sell the player, but they don't want to sell him to Real Madrid. Um, so this is this is this is the reports that have come out uh, many times. PSG are also surprised at Kylian decision, Kylian Mbappe's decision, and that he does not want to extend his contract any further. Um, all I have to say is, ladies and gentlemen, I am ex excited and this is why i'm excited because imagine killian mbappe to arsenal just imagine the possibility of arsenal pulling off killian mbappe because it has been rumored that psg have no intentions of selling to real madrid that means manchester united arsenal liverpool chelsea bayern munich all the other clubs that would be potentially interested in killian mbappe are now going to come in for him if we have an opportunity to go get him we should go get him but today is about declan rice declan rice to arsenal is more than close than ever this deal is now most likely going to happen and it's going to be around 92 million we are moving like a big club ladies and gentlemen and i'm absolutely loving this who do you guys think how many more signings do you guys think we need imagine we get declan rice over the line we now go and push for caicedo we are in dreamland ladies and gentlemen this could this is going to be the biggest transfer window in arsenal football club history and i am more excited than i have ever been and i think we're actually going to pull it off i think we're going to pull off uh, what we want and Mikel Arteta is going to be happy because he's finally going to get his number one target we haven't been able to get a number one target for arsenal in a couple in a couple transfer windows and that's because we haven't had champions league football and we haven't been in the financial position to attract the top players but now that we are back in Champions League football, we are competing for the titles. As you can see, we are now back in the race for the top players, and we're now attracting these top players. And I am I'm so gassed. Imagine Declan Rice had Bayern Munich, Chelsea, Newcastle, Manchester United all after him, and he said, no, I want to sign for Arsenal Football Club. That just goes to show you how massive of a club we are, and we are finally moving like that massive club that we are. And one other thing has always, that always has been an issue for us was spending those large transfer fees, the 100 millions, uh, those kind of fees was what we didn't spend uh, on players in the past. We are now looking to spend that type of money. We are now looking to make those kind of moves, and I am ecstatic. Let me know how you guys are feeling right now. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Let me know how you guys think Declan Rice is going to do at Arsenal. Do you think we're, this is what, uh, one of the first pieces to get us our, our title challenge next season and go on to win the league? And do you believe we can even pull off uh, – Declan Rice, Caicedo, and all these other transfers that we're looking at, because that's what we are intentioning to do at this moment in time. As you can see here, reports coming from from uh, from Football Insider, not only reporting on the Caicedo news that that Arsenal and Chelsea are both interested in Caicedo, we know that and we've known that for a while. But of course, Gundogan also. I don't think we're going to get Gundogan. Caicedo, we, we can potentially get. But this is the first key step in the transfer window. Get Declan Rice in through the door. Get the transfer done early. He's on international duty. Once he's done international duty, we can see the shirt get announced. In the meanwhile, get the fee agreed. Get Personal terms have already been agreed a long time ago, if you guys don't already know. Personal terms were agreed back in February with Declan Rice. He's going to be getting a close to 300K a week at Arsenal. And I am so gassed, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, that is the information for today. Let me know how you guys feel about Declan Rice potentially joining Arsenal and the deal feel, uh, finally being agreed. We, he's going to be an Arsenal player. And let me know, do you guys think we actually have a chance to get Kylian Mbappe or am I just dreaming? You know what? One can only hope. Am I wrong? But yeah, that's it for today's uh, little quick transfer video. I had to I had to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. It's almost, it's almost midnight. But yeah, you guys have yourselves a good one. And I'll be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. for a full video. Check out my most recent video here. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to check out my other videos up there. I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace. Here we go.